Hey, everybody. Uh, sorry, I know it's kind of loud. Um, a lot of things happen. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, what y'all think of that? That was uh, shit that I was I, I just got with. one thing to say. I'm glad I ain't doing acid no more. But yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I'm all that is epileptic. <laughs> not to throw any digs at anyone, but all that editing was done on my uh, on my iPhone. I'm just saying, through four right. different editors. I'm just saying, for anybody else that does editing on their iPhone, it can be done. Just mm -hmm. saying. Well, but anyway, they don't like to do editing on their phones. You know, it can be done. It can be done, and it don't even cost a lot of money. Those are all free apps. Every all four of those apps. <laughs> And I mean, they have, they're all small clips, but you'd have to piece them all together the proper way to make them all hip, you know, jump like they do. But a lot of times on those free apps, you're getting only like five second clips, 30 second clips. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you just, you piece it yeah. all together. And then, then I have some that I can lay those tracks. Like I was saying that it allows me to layer those tracks. So it kind of helps hey, blend everything in. Anyways, let's see. Oh, Holy Whoa, right to, yeah. Yes. You, you go ahead while I'm still doing this, because that was the whole idea but I was enjoying that just that little bit of bit of bit of you know what I mean, and yeah. uh, let's let me go start right at the very very top there. We got James Capozzi out there. What is going on? Ho bag, what's happening, man? Much love out to your brother Thomas Hall. Thank you very much for joining us, Josh Rhodes. Here's a big heart for you, brother. I love you, man. Thank you very much, Jen Ryan, my Sagittarian sister. Here's a big heart for you too, baby. Thank you for joining us as well. Vaping Joe M is out there in chat. You see that lovely face right there on that screen, baby. What is going on? Pippa Live, what is going on? Y'all got to go over. Check out Pippa Live. She is just, you know, that new uh, nicotine. I think she put uh, Pippa, hang on. I'm going to give you a, uh, a I want to give you a wrench. If anybody wants to go over and uh, check out this uh, movie type, but it's she's over in Australia. And, uh, but seriously. Pippa does so much for, she does DIY. She does um, a lot of advocacy for over on the other side, but she's also one of the ones that'll jump in over here. I love you, baby. Mike Berg, what is going on, man? Thank you for joining us as well. Who else we got out there? James Buick, Riviera. Thank you for joining, brother. Much love to you, man. Aloha, Kevin K. What is going on? Alicia, here's a big heart for you, baby. Much love to you, mama. Who else we got out there? Spike Fapes. Spike Fapes. Spike Vapes. I'm not hearing it, brother. I'm not hearing it, man. Come on. Ryan Life, what is going on? Dig Big Game, what is happening? Holy cow. What is going on there, man? At church, what is going on? I believe we're all caught up. Everybody, thank you. There's Miss New York Cheesecake, always locked and loaded. Big red in the house. Deb22, what is happening, baby? Thank you for joining us as well, and... Big heart to you, Dustin Finch. What is going on? Um, and anybody, please do not time him out. Um, you know, let him be here. Everybody's always welcome. And you know, so you know, we're not here to screw with anybody. We're all. I'm done with those. I'm done with that chapter. So I don't even listen. I I couldn't tell you what was going on on any of those games over there. Benelli. It is a one-to-one -one clone, Benelli. Benelli. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love you, brother. Fuck yeah, man. So anyways, why don't we say hello to our first guest, the man, the myth, the legend, Joe, cheesiest cheese god of the cheesiest, Miller. What is going on, brother? What is up, Tommy and Roberto? Glad to be on, here Joe. tonight. Um, before we get started, though, I do want to put out a couple things. There are two GoFundMe's going around the community right now. Um, one for Discount Donnie to help him get moved to Ohio to get the medical treatment he needs. And the other is for Hobeg, who lost his brother um, about a week ago. So yeah, a week if you ago, yeah. check them out, if you can, donate to them. If not, at least get them shared around so that everybody can can see them. Yes, absolutely. So, as always, I got the Argus. 
I have some. Uh, and uh, just one quick, quick, uh, quick correction, Joe. It was his son. Oh, was it his son? Yes. Son. Much love, okay. man. That's one. Th- I'm sorry, uh, one- brother. I thought I thought it was your brother, but no, I. I just happened to see him correct us, so I just wanted to let us, let everybody know. But yes, I, I would not want to walk in your shoes, man. I mean, I've been blessed with both of my, you know, with my kids all being here, and uh, I I could not walk in those shoes, man. I would not want to. Mm-hmm. Boo, but Joe, take it I've away. The Max Peach in the Argus, the Rig Mod with the Blotto Mini. I got some New York or. Uh, Copy cheesecake in there from Thomas Hall. I got the I box. I get with Chewy about that. With the Ragnar. And in that, I have some Max Fritter from Victory Liquid. And then I have the Kennedy with the Intake Duel. Hell yeah. And in that, I have some Blueberry Krispies from Victory Liquid. Pimping so, that, pimping that victory, are we? Out, getting some of it in again. So Hell yeah, dude! Why not? Gonna, no, go gonna get it. some reviews out on them for them. Um, talking with them about doing something special on November fourth for the That'll live stream awesome. that I am putting up for Discount Donnie. So, getting some things set up with them to do. A giveaway for so hell yeah that's all i got tonight brother hell yeah well roberto nemesis oh, no, man. How you doing? doing good man thank you for joining thank us brother guys. glad to see you both are well and you know everything else so today i've got the drop rda and in that i have some pineapple soda in there I also have the Goon 1.5, and in that I have some mango lemonade, all DIY, by the way. And then I've also got my Yids T1 MTL RTA, and in that I have some ice grape mixed salt in that. Hey, Joe, I did get two of those uh, Vupu PMP tanks before I got the Argus. I wanted to try them out, see what they're like, you know. So I'll let you know what I think of them. (laughs) You'll be like everybody else. You'll fucking love it. And now you said you're doing that on November 4th, Joe? Yeah, November 4th at 7 o'clock Central Time. That's a Wednesday night, right? Yes. Day after the election? Yeah, I we was gonna do it too. We was gonna do it Tuesday, but with the elections and stuff, we I decided to do it on the fourth. So Alicia. Thicker than a stick. What's going on, huh? Hell yeah, and uh, right there, Pippa just put that out there. The biggest, the most controversial documentary footage uh, with uh, Vaping Bogan, lots of different doctors, Clive Bates called Australia Up in Smoke premieres in five hours. There's the link if y'all want to check it out. Pippa, thank you very much. I haven't seen Pippa in forever. I'm glad to see her. I- I'll yeah, have she- to fix the replay because in five hours, my fat ass will be sleeping. So Yeah, yeah, yeah but I'm just saying, <laughs> and um but definitely and uh pippa much love always and thank you for all the support that you do for everyone and a lot of stuff that people don't see bachelor what is going on um i think i caught everybody again everybody thank you for joining us uh you know me i'm tommy v tonight i'm nobody special tonight i'm not i'm not anybody um rocking my one of my best friends shirt the meter vapes. The meter does many things. He's over live on Not Your Average Joe. I think it's Not Your Average Joe. I think that's the name of it. He does, uh, they do uh, podcasts and different things on like MMA and whatnot and uh, really cool shit. And he does a live show on Thursday nights as well also, but a very good friend of mine. He also does, he also, he's also a vapor and whatnot. And uh, like I said, much love to my brother. I just, was thinking of him, so I'm like, I'm rocking his shirt tonight. Look at that. Just like, <laughs> with my fat going up and down like that, makes it look like, you know, hey, check it out. If I had some boobies, it would even be better. My milkshake bring the boys to the yard. Damn right. It's better than you. Damn right. It's better than you. 
Who else we got out there? Chevy, man, what is going hey, on? Man. I'm no Joe. Thank you, Chevy, very, very much. Absolutely. Miss New York Cheesecake, it's your birthday. Well, happy birthday. Yesterday was my youngest son's birthday. Last Wednesday was my middle son's birthday. And then September 17th was my other son's birthday. So, I mean, they're all within a month's time. Hey, three different, three different, they're three years apart. And they're all within like a month's time with three different mothers. Who rocked? Oh, her birthday's on November 4th. November 4th. Oh, okay. Well, then uh, hopefully you have a very good birthday when they reelect Donald Trump. Oh, I hope I didn't burn anybody's ass right there. Well, fuck, there you just lost three people, hell. Yeah. You see my whole fucking uh, just gone. Sub count and all. Wait a minute. My stream just went dead. <laughs> hey, I'm turning my boat in tomorrow. I'm doing early boating, so. And that's just it. Like, the meter, he hates. I mean, if anybody sees the shit, some of the shit that I post, especially political stuff on my Facebook page, you'll see him come on and he'll be always tearing me a new asshole and shit. But he knows that, you know, even though we don't always agree on everything. A lot of times I post it just to stir the shit pot. You know what I mean? <laughs> and but he, once in a while he gets it in there, he'll bite, man, and he'll get right in there and he has no problem saying, What the fuck, dude? You know, why you gotta post this shit? You know I'm gonna get pissed, you know. And, Hell yeah, there, <laughs> baby bachelor. My actually more people did come in after I said that. Honest to God, it went from 29 to 32. Go figure. Mm-hmm. And if y'all are not voting for Trump, Biden, <laughs> I saw that today. I thought that was funny. So, anyways, um, I needed a smile. You two gentlemen and everybody out in chat have really helped bring that tonight. So I want to thank all of that, all of you guys, because my uh, my life has been kind of shitty for the last uh, little while, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys for helping me sticking with me because you know i haven't been able to be here like tomorrow night i'm not going to be able to do a show next thursday i can't do a show but i should be able to do it friday and uh so then like i said the next thursday show that music will not be as loud as it was i just i totally fucked up and put that track in there before i pulled that back until i turned <laughs> it down so but yeah but I'm, i might end up even changing the video i got some different video clips that i might want to put in because those are still kind of fuzzy and that was again i think it was because it was done on my iphone you know, when you do, when you are doing editing on your iPhone, you know, I mean, sometimes you can get it so it just really doesn't look good at all. And you just, you can tell it's <laughs> jump cuts. But when you transition them, you don't have those jump cuts if you transition them. Just saying. Well, if you do that on a Samsung, you wouldn't have any problem. Then. Absolutely. You could do that too. But I'd do it mine on an iPhone. I'm just saying. I'm just on an iPhone. I, Seeing all these Trump 2020. See, I, I said that when they were, when the uh, when the whole thing with the PMTA was going down and everybody was doing, you know, PMTAs will make votes go away. I was like, no, they won't. You people are still going to vote for Trump no matter what. Yep. And Al Ben, 100%. So, that was all bullshit. And we have another special guest coming in. Good evening, everyone. What is up? What's up? No, I'm not. Hitman, that, the, the price that they want for that new iPhone 12, I'll pass right now. <coughs> What's going on? Hello there, Miss Jennifer. Good evening, Tommy, Nemesis, good, Joe. Good evening. How are y'all? Doing We're good. doing all right. Good. So I hear that you're going to be 29 again coming up soon. No, somebody added six years. I'm really going to be 23. Oh, my goodness. So they lied I to tell me. you, Tommy, 23. It's now 23. 23. But see, now, see, here's where the math gets complicated. I have a 21-year-old and a 17-year-old. So, yeah, y'all figure it out. She's got the gorilla math going on. Hell, yeah. Hey, but at least my math makes more sense than, well, we're not going to go there here. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing what a bachelor's degree will get you, huh? 
Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's not like you're saying you're gonna be. It's not like you're expecting. It's not like you're saying you're expecting a baby in February and then yeah, I'm not the time you put out there to... puts it out there in January because of being born in January. At least, at least you have that. Yeah, two is my limit. That's enough. And I love me some dick riding. You know, I gotta say, I love some dick riding. You know. Oh hell yeah. Gotta surf at dick riding. Uh, Damn right. Yeah, and this is and this is I mean from what I've seen from like a week ago, I don't know what anybody has done from the past week, but from what I've seen from Herb's last one, someone's been relegated to a minute and thirty seconds. There's an issue there. It's all are they afraid to put out any longer than that or? Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. Most of them are thirty oh, seconds. Did I mention so. yes? Yeah, Thirty to forty-five oh, no, seconds. No, the depends. rated one's a minute fifty-one. There's one that's a minute fifty-one. I don't know. I haven't been looking. Haven't been checking. Uh, oh yeah, and I oh, I don't know if uh, Nemesis knows, um, but Joe, uh, Deb twenty-two has been targeted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw I was, something about that in last item. night in Josh's chat. I haven't had a chance to sit down with Deb yet and talk with her. But I'm, yeah, I'm kind of on the approach anymore. I'm kind of on the approach anymore. Is she's not worth being talked about? I mean, it's just no. So, and I do yeah, apologize yeah, for bringing her up. Nothing wrong with that at all. Uh oh, we lost Tommy. <laughs> Where did Tommy? Uh oh, we lost Tommy. We lost the host of the show. Oh <laughs> shit! Nah, I've just uh -oh. it, it's been it's been hectic around here with everything going on, and yeah, you know, I got some shows going on that some some planned things going on that. I'd rather put my attention to than to the other shit. So attention to I, I understand. <laughs> well damn, I come on and Tommy V leaves. I didn't mean to run him off. No, I'm sure you didn't run him off. You probably had something the to panel do. If I have to. Yeah, it's been hectic. It's been a hectic week for me too, Joe. It's just that with me, it's been work. You know what I mean? We have the release coming out on Saturday, then we got one coming up in two weeks. So it's been like, yeah. And somebody who damn decided to do uh, release schedules didn't bother to look at the fucking calendar. Hey, Shibby man, I'll be getting a hold of you in the next day or two, brother. Uh, so be be looking out for that. No, I just with oh, baby and bachelor. Whatever happens, there's gonna be chaos. There's gonna be anarchy, and you know what? I love that shit. So, bring on the riots. Bring on the live show. bitching. I don't care. Between the planned live show and you know, then the personal shit that I'm dealing with, it's just taking my time up. So. Hmm. I'm uh, back. Sorry. Rush, Joe. No, no, no worries. Just where'd you go, Tommy? What you got to take care of. Yeah, where'd you go, Tommy? He's I don't know there. what happened. The whole thing went completely kaplooey. Isn't that the word, kaplooey? I think that's <laughs> the word. But I can fix this. I can move us around here. Yeah, we were all in here, though. There we go. I, wait a minute. I got to put it back the way it was. There we go. Ain't that cool how I can move people where I want them? Yeah, I like that feature. Josh, I should, but I don't. Because, you know what? Everybody is working themselves up into this frenzy. Let them. Let them. Two-pump chump there, Ryan. Hell yeah. 
Well, well, lady. Um, Jeez. Um, only no, I didn't ready the saddle yet. I ain't gonna be doing. No, I can't do any dick riding for a while because the operation that she had was in the female area. So I'm cut off for a while. For like I said last week, the first thing I said was when they said 14 days no activity. Told her she needs to call, call her dentist just to make sure that was all good. <laughs> yeah, that's why Tommy can't last more than 30 seconds right now. <laughs> that's about it. By the time those 14 days, yeah. I mean, it's, it's just right now it's already starting to feel good just to pee. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. We got some bad storms coming through. I guess it's just from the, they're saying from the remnants of this fucking thing that came up through the south. Because right now we got some high winds and whatnot, but they're saying by morning it's going to change over to snow. This is great. Uh, oh, great. shit. Saturday is supposed to drop down here to like 47 degrees on Saturday. Yep. I think it was like it was 50. Last day in the 80s, we're have, that's because of the remnants from that storm, the same storm you're getting right now. Today yeah. we had high winds, we had humidity, we had rain. It was fucking crazy, man. Yeah, it was like this morning we had fog this morning, so it was early. we had humidity, and by the time the end of the day, like right now, I think it was. Right now it's forty-seven. Mm -hmm. So it went from sixty-five to say this morning to forty-seven. Yeah, now let me find out what the. Yeah, we was in like the, the upper twenties the other day, had snow and stuff, and then yesterday was fifty one, today was forty something, so seventy three degrees right now. So it's it's moving on down, but it's gonna take a while to get there. Oh well. Yeah, it's thirty five up there. Yeah, you got you're getting oh, that we got some storms That's coming out. Big red. Cause I know you're up right mm -hmm. up above me, so hell yeah. Yep. Dad, that is so cool that you're able to because they, they're not allowing the trick-or-treating around here. Not even the trunk-or-treat they're not allowing. Where they used to do the trunk-or-treat where the kids, so you wouldn't have to, they could just go, from, they would have like a car show, but they would have, the, it was called trunk-or-treat. And everybody would have out of their car, they'd be dressed up as whatever, and all the kids would go from car to car to car to car to car and, you know, get all their candy and shit. And it was great. You know, it was a nice little atmosphere. It was kind of like a, you know, circus type shit going on. But it was all about what people would bring all their street rides and shit. And they had it was called trunk or treat. You know, this year they didn't even allow them to have that this year. See, we've got we're we're allowed for them to go out, but there's been a lot of places um over in Omaha where you, you've got different areas of town that they're not doing the normal trick or treat. It's you just drive through the area and People are going to be sitting out there with a bag of stuff, just handing it through a window. And yeah, yeah. I've seen we're having stuff. We're having shit like that here too. They're they're doing the whole thing of uh, social distance trick or treating. Yeah, we're not. We wasn't going to do it, and now my wife's talking about going and buying some candy now and possibly doing it. I don't know. I guess we'll, well figure out tomorrow. We're going to Walmart, so we'll figure out tomorrow whether we're going to be handing candy out or what. I know all of our grandkids are going to have big bags of candy. <laughs> That's what we usually do. We'll we'll do you know little baggies for all the grandkids and stuff that come over. Yep. And usually we'll have a bowl sitting by the house or by the front door that we'll hand out. But you know, the last couple of years we've had like maybe three or four kids and the entire night, and it's like. Yep. We decided this year we was just going to buy some candy for the grandkids, and yep. um, I think we're going to do one for the the neighbor kid too, and just do bags, you know, just do a couple bags for all them. So, yeah. And what they did around here was, um, we had bought all the candy, figuring hoping that we would still be able to do hand out the candy this year. So we bought. We usually buy, you know, those big bags that are like, like come with like two hundred or three hundred. Yeah pieces into it we usually buy three of those that's how many kids we normally get in this area well the governor announced yesterday that 
It's going to be town to town, but he's recommending that it's not allowed this year. And, of course, our town and our area towns have all canceled. So the kids – and that sucks. The kids have lost so much. You know, and I was having a conversation today with another gentleman, but our the future generation is – look how fucked up it's going to be. Seriously. I mean, we're doing the best we can, but – Every as long as these kids don't have kind of any interaction other than social media distancing, social distancing, social media kind of conversations, all those kids are all going to be introverts. They're not going to have any kind of any kind of per, person to person kind of talking to one another unless they're chatting. Just think of what this generation and they're, I mean, God forbid, I mean. Some of these parents try really hard, but they're just not that smart to teach these kids. And they don't have the, you know, they work, they're exhausted. They don't have the time, you know what I mean? And you can't expect them because, you know, you got to keep a roof over their head, too. So, I mean, these kids coming up are going to be fucking stupid. They think that we are stupid now. It continues the way that it's going. I think if we get to some level of normalcy, then I think it'll be okay, but... The problem, the problem being here is that the cases keep going up. I mean, you know, here, like four different elementary schools, they were talking about they had cases of COVID nineteen, so they were going to send the kids home for fourteen for fourteen more days. It's like you know, they've got to have some normalcy there. But well, you know, like the I one have... upside to it, the one upside to this whole thing is we don't have to worry this year about snow days for for the kids. Because, you know, every year they allow so many days to be missed throughout the school year for for snow days. This year, if it snows to where the buses can't run and stuff, because they already have the online setups for the, the schools, now there is no more, you know, there is no snow days this year. They are just going to be 100% online that day, so... Mm-hmm. And I believe that eventually there will be a vaccine, and I mean, and I only because it's, and I just think it's fucking stupid. But that is for take care, bachelor. I appreciate you, man. Love you. Um, but I mean, because I just really think that they're they're forcing shit onto people, and I don't believe this is all what it's cracked up to be. Wearing a mask constantly. Josh Rhodes that has been out there in chat, he's been putting up some videos. Anybody that has not subscribed to him needs to go out and check him out. Um, He has a lot of different versions about, I mean, not version, videos. I'm sorry. Like my mic. Damn it, Ryan. But one thing I did say is depending on how the presidency gets done, uh, Vaccine for a made-up virus. Thank you, Josh. Anybody that has, you need to go over and check out. I don't think it's, is it still under Josh, Josh, or is it under your other name? If uh, Let me put a wrench onto you, and if you can actually put a video out there, if people want to go check it out, especially about wearing the masks. Um, well, I you think know, that, the people who have died from it would disagree that it's made up, but the problem and, being is that a vaccine needs to be put out, okay? It's not going to be coming overnight like a lot of people think. We're still at least three, four, five, even six months away from a workable vaccine. Depends well, on you who know, the president is. That was, that was something, something I found interesting the other night because uh, President Trump was in town here um, out at, off at Air Force Base there in, in – Nebraska, and uh, I just happened to be watching the news that night, and they were, were pulling parts from his speech that he was giving. And one of the parts that they pulled and, and put up was him talking. He says, "Watch November fourth. All this talk of, of the virus and stuff is going to go away." And, and this is Trump coming from Trump's mouth saying it. You know, watch after after the the elections that. It's the talk is going to go away. Oh yeah, like well, yeah, said, people all because depend- people will be talking about the elections. 
Well, and it's still not going to make the vaccine go away. I mean, it's still not going to make the virus go away. What he was getting at, though, is a lot of your talks about, oh, you got to wear a mask and you got to do this and you got to do that, is a lot of the Democratic side, not so much the Republican side, if you look at it in general. But, you know, you still have some Republicans that are saying, yes, you need to wear the mask and, and blah, blah, blah. But you know, he, it, it just was kind of set there. Show they, me proof they didn't. They can be. They can work both ways. Show me proof that no one has really died from COVID nineteen. Yeah, because I have a brother in law that got diagnosed. He was in the hospital for I think three or four days, something like that. <laughs> they got diagnosed with COVID, and now listen, my brother in law is. You know, not all there mentally. He's a good guy. Love him dearly. But I asked him, I said, so what did they send you home with for, you know, medications? And he said, nothing. They gave him antibiotics and stuff while he was in the hospital, but they didn't send him home with anything. I mean, just think about it. We have someone yeah, in this because community. they don't have any treatment for it yet. They're, until last week. Until last week when the FDA finally approved a drug that can be used in treatment, they had no treatment for it. My brother had COVID-19. He was in the hospital for three fucking days. And what did they tell him? Take uh, take stuff for the symptoms. Take NyQuil and DayQuil and acetaminophen and Tylenol for the fever. That's all you could do. That's all they had for it. Um, Josh Rhodes just put out a uh, link for one of those videos. Go check that out. And like I said, if you get a chance and you like it, go check out his other videos. They're not long. Go check it out. He even He's even got one over there on one pack. But anyways, that's another story in itself. But anyways, getting back to uh, what Benelli had said, that was fucking hilarious, is that someone in my state was decapitated in a car wreck, but they called it COVID-19 uh, death. Seems believable to me. I agree 100%. <laughs> To date, the virus is not isolated. Absolutely. If I mean, there is, there might be some sort of virus, but it's not that. And like I was telling you earlier that I believe that they sent my wife home yesterday is because they had no way to prove that it was uh, anything to do tied to COVID for what she was suffering from. You know what I mean? Hmm. Because she went in because of what I told you guys what had happened and then for the rest of the chest pains and all the other things that were going on. And... Uh, but they couldn't tie any of that to that. So I believe that's why they kicked her out because that wouldn't, you know, they couldn't count that. Well, and, and let's be honest. Scene is not a lot scene. of them are saying that all it really is is a cross between the flu and bronchitis. Kind of a mixture of both of them. That's what, for a while, they were giving to people in the hospitals. They were giving them that, you know, the doses that they would give somebody that has the flu or bronchitis, that was the medicine they were using to curb it. The PCR test is not for testing, Josh Rhodes said. See, this is what I needed to hear, all this stuff, because I don't care. I mean, I love to hear the bullshit because I know, to me, it's, like I said, I where I work, I don't have to wear a mask. Laura, what is going on? Oh, I'm sorry. Zippy. Zippy. Also, if you notice out there, Zippy, if you go and look, you'll see Nightbot out there. Um, mentions that DIYflavorchasers.com. And it's if you guys are looking for one shot, she's up in Canada, but they do ship to the U.S. And I do believe starting tomorrow, all weekend, up to DIYflavorchasers.com. They are having their one shots two for twenty dollars, and those one shots are uh, will make you a lot of liquid. So, um, definitely, like I said, the link should come up through there. Definitely check it out. Also, I know you also see me uh, do uh, for VSO. You get seventeen percent with Tommy, but I know tomorrow is Shane's birthday, so I know there's going to be a bigger percentage off. So, if you're looking for any flavors over at VSO, go check that out. Also, Bull City has uh, a sale. I think it's called, uh, I'll tell you what it is. 
They're having one with 15% off, I believe it is. And that is code Jacko, not Jack Off, but Jacko 2020 will get you 15% off until November 1st. And also, like I said, with Zippy's uh, sale also, it does start on tomorrow and it goes until the 1st of November as well also. And like I said, she does ship to, uh, to, to the U.S., though, definitely. And she has many, many mixes up there of one shot from a lot of you, a lot of the better known mixers. You know, I'm talking Fresh 03, uh, Addie Tooney, um, DIY. I'm not sure if DIY or die, but Tam Vapes. There's a lot of super, super amazing mixers that do. And and it goes it's goes to a good thing. So absolutely. Um, and there's the one for VSO. Like I said, you can use the 17%. But if you go tomorrow over there, I know he has a code. If I find it, if I see it, I'll share it. I'll put it on my community tab as well also. But I'm pretty sure that he's having a sale tomorrow as well. And also is uh, E&B. I know some of you all might not be fans of them, but they are having a, uh, I think it's 35% off. And that's one thing that I uh, have an issue, well, not with just E&B, but a lot of companies all together. And I... I went through this a few years ago with another company that they would give you a discount code, say, give you 20%, and you would put that out there. But every week or every other week, they would have their own sale of 35%. So it, uh, they would just undercut you all together. Yep. You know what I mean? They're, mm -hmm. they're going to wait till he releases his and not use your code. You know what I mean? And I noticed that too because E&B, who else gets 35% off or 30% off? Is there anybody? I mean, even the other crew over there, they don't get that. But E&B oh, will run that. And, you know, I've crew. Yeah, they yeah. just get 15%. Yeah. Uh, everybody up there gets 15% off. I right. think there's. I think, I think actually, even I think Batman. They get more than that. I think Batman and Thesis get more. Yeah. I think because I think it's Thesis 30 is his code where you can get 30 percent off but absolutely red that's what i'm talking about when they do that shit it screws over the people that they sponsor mm -hmm. no code needed at vso tomorrow so i okay that sounds about right because that that sounds sounds about right for shane he'll just he'll do the sales a lot of time and he'll give you no code needed whatsoever and well, the real reviewers that they still sponsor, because a lot of the guys up there are just there to get the free product. They don't review it. And they don't do anything with it. So, yep. except vape it, All right? They don't promote. They don't promote. They vape That's it, and you know it's good. You know it's good. You know it's good because they said so. Mm -hmm. Stop, Tom. I should not turn that page like that. Yeah, ex absolutely, Ricky. You're right. E and B is saturated with codes, but they give them to everyone. But then when they undercut them by putting out a thirty to thirty five percent, it really screws over all the people that they gave them. Yeah, uh, thesis has thirty five percent for patrons only, though. You're right. And Batman uh, percentage twenty five to thirty while it used for a while. Blah blah blah. Okay, yeah. So no. Yeah. Like I said, yeah, Thesis and Batman have the two of the have the two codes that get you more than fifteen percent off. And like I said, I'm not picking on E and B in general. I see other companies do the same thing. Oh, is that yeah. they sponsor these people and give them a discount code, and then they run their own weekly or every other week, and it just I mean it doubles what they're giving out for a code. Later, Benelli. See Take you, care, Benelli. Benelli. I love you, brother. And uh, Mullenberry.com has 35% off if you use code Mullenberry DIY. That's very, very cool. I do like a lot of Mullenberry flavors. Only problem is with Mullenberry, they don't mix well with other flavors. That's one drawback with Mullenberry. They don't play well with other companies. They'll play well with their own, but you try to mix like a Mullenberry whatever with an, like a Capella flavor. A lot of times they're just like oil and water. You know what I mean? They'll separate. I mean, not really physically, but you know what I mean? They're not going to blend together the proper way. They don't play well to good. 
yeah, you're not going to get that flavor bend that you need. What's up, Sin Cal? Sin Cal, what is going on, man? Thank you for joining us. Hope you're well, brother. That sucks, though, Ricky, that these, you know, a lot of these places, and again, it's all these states that are just driving that home and stopping everybody because they have their own directive because they want people that keep on buy, using that tobacco tax dollars keep on feeding their fat face. You know what I mean? So, yep. It was just on the news here before I come out. I was watching the news. They were just saying that in El Paso, they've had to close the border because El Paso, they've, they're having to send patients to San Antonio that are, that are in the hospital for COVID. Yeah, because uh, yeah. Texas has a big spike, I guess, they said. So they were saying about, I don't know, I guess about 30, 40. Yep. Yeah. Aussie Shano, what is going on? El Thank Paso. you for stopping by. Yeah, I heard something. Right well, and here's the other thing. El Paso is right there on the border of, of Mexico, Texas, and... Uh, Here's my problem with the whole thing is how are they fucking accurately checking this shit? I mean, remember early last year, you know, late last year when it was, you know, everybody was going to the hospital because of vaping and shit. You know, that there was many that said that, you know, if you went into the hospital with even the simplest code or cold, they were labeling it fucking vaping so that the numbers could go up. And that's what they're doing the same thing with cold. They're doing the same fucking thing now. You go in there with the fucking cold or the flu right. or anything like that. They, oh, it's COVID and fucking, you know, get them fucking numbers up. And and, and that's, again, it's all their directive because and I, I you, don't you went to the hospital. To those, those died, but... Uh... <clears throat> I don't mean any disrespect to those who died, but take all the deaths. All blamed, some of them were a bit blamed on COVID. And well, the thing of it is, I mean, we have I, one person in this community right now that is, her father has passed three times from COVID. I'm just yeah. saying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's sad that he passed away three different times. Three different times from COVID. That is terrible. <laughs> yeah, he got three different times and passed away from it. And then he's still alive. He he did recover that's from a, it. You, that's Tyrone's grandpa. Yeah. That's why, man. Yeah, Tyrone yeah, the survivor. God, he, 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 Absolutely, the, Dustin. The, and right now, by, by the go ahead, grace Jennifer. of God, it was a miracle he survived. Whatever, <laughs> Dustin. <laughs> Um, the thing of it is, Dustin, I was going to address that, is the doctor, right now, everybody has could even have cold symptoms, and but every fall, when leaves start falling and everything else, you get a different type of allergy. It's called fall allergies. They're not a cold. It's not the COVID. It's an allergy. You get the runny nose, the itchy eyes. You know, you might even get it, have it end up in your chest if you're a smoker. So you might have some shortness of breath. You go to the doctor, yeah, you got COVID. No, you ain't got COVID. There's more ways to be tested other than just having a cold. You got to have the fever. You got to have, there's got to be some other things checked before they can, they should be able to just justify saying it's the COVID. Because I know in the last two weeks, me and, well, actually three weeks, me and the wife have been tested six different times because of her having to go into the hospital and back and forth and whatnot. And every time you do, you have to be tested. You know what I mean? So, so, Every time, getting that fucking swab up the fucking nose. That's so fucking ridiculous. 17 times this way, this way. Oh, you're good. Of course I'm fucking good. I, Dude, Ryan. Dude, I feel your pain, man. But again, though, you lose your smell and your taste again, but uh, Zippy, that... And I, Zippy, I really, it's hard for me to call you Zippy, even though you asked me to. It's just out of respect. I'm so used to saying, like, even Miss New York Cheesecake. How many times do I say Miss Jennifer? You know what I mean? It's just, 
it's just habit to call a lady. I don't, I'm not used to calling a lady by a nickname. You know, I'm more good with calling guys that. And so it's not out of disrespect for you. You know, I have much love for you, baby. But if I happen to call you Laura, I'm still your friend. And you know what I mean by that. Right. <laughs> that was my grandmother named Laura. Well, like Zippy oh, yeah? said, you get a lot more. You get a lot of other stuff with it. And... Yep, you do. Uh, my brother still hasn't totally recovered from it either. I mean, you know, his he's still having breathing problems. He's still having to take breathing treatments. Well, and see, my brother-in-law is quarantined for 14 days. So, you know, I mean, it's... Well, so was he. He was quarantined for a long time. I actually, it, actually, it, had, to, I actually had to do the grocery thing. shopping for him. That's and the that dumbest was, thing I, I've ever fucking heard, okay? Look. Quarantine yourself for fucking fourteen days, and miraculously, because you, they ain't giving you no fucking medications to take or or anything with that. Miraculously, after fourteen days, it's gone, and you're you're free to go book and do whatever you want. And the thing of it is, you're all and you're quarantined to your own house, where you're not even having to wear a mask, but uh, you're quarantined actually, to there. Actually, the way they do it here is you have to wait if you if you get a positive test result. You have to wait 21 days before you can go out there. If you get past 10 days with no with no symptoms or minor symptoms where you're actually able to function, then you have to wait 21 days before you can actually leave your house. Or in this case, but how, but how does it clear up? So. Though, but how does it yeah, clear right up? Back. Okay, but how does it your clear body's up? Not your immune systems. That's where the antibodies in your in your blood they actually build up and uh, they can actually fight the virus. But after the end of those 14 or 21 days, aren't you still carrying that virus if you yes, never you left your So if you go out, you're still carrying that virus. You can still, you can still pass, pass it along. You can still pass so, it along, yeah. It depends on the RNA and how long it takes for it to shed and everything else, yeah. Well, and then they say, oh, well, kids, you know, kids are okay. They, they won't get it. But then you hear every fucking day, oh, well, this kid in this school has got it. You know, this school district has had a spike in it. Okay, what? Yeah, what because what can happen is the kids you guys come out and said that they can't get COVID because their immune systems are so good. Well, they can't get COVID. They don't get the symptoms. They don't get sick like me or you would. What it is that they can go out there and they can give it to their mothers, their fathers, their grandparents. That's what. That's the excuse that they're using anyway. I'm just saying, the longer this just continues, I just still think it's that flashbang thing that they just want to use. I don't, as much as they want to have their directive and saying there's a, this is a spike, there's a spike here. I, I just can't, I can't roll with it. I just can't. I'm sorry. I, you know. A few months ago, two babies were there and had COVID and were in I, uh, NCIU, I, ICU, or in ICU, sorry. Yeah. I still can't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Red. Uh, only once a month. That's pretty cool because a lot of, I mean, well, yeah, it's only, you're federal, not, okay, never mind. I'm thinking uh, medical, not federal. <laughs> My mind is just so fucking shot, man. I'm, but, um, we're almost up to the hour. So tomorrow night you have a show, right? Nemesis? Yep. Uh, yep, I have my tech show at seven o'clock. Nemesis talks tech. That's uh hey. it goes on for about an hour. Yeah. Stu Rep. I just happened to see you there. What's going on there, brother? And then you got Green Screen Mafia coming up, right? Uh on this couple of week, Monday, and you're gonna be doing uh with Jacob Claire. Jacob Claire. <laughs> Oh, Lord, Me that'll be an hour or two. We'll never get back. Or Brian R. Oh, we're not going to be commentating on him. We're going to be talking about it, but we'll be commentating on the Vaping Legion's episode on Jacob Clare. I know uh, the other day there when he uh, went live and Jay came on, he did an about. I don't know if you all seen it, but, I mean, you could just see that Jay called him out on everything and – 
you could just see that he didn't have a leg to stand on. He just wanted Jay on his show, and that's all it was. He wants the attention like someone else. They got to, you know, they got to get that attention drawn to them by somehow trying to throw Third somebody. That's what the it was. Yep. Even view. when Jay was on the, he, he, even when Jay was on my show, I told Jay, I said, "Yeah, that's all it is. He just wants the fucking attention. Mm -hmm. He wants something to views. bitch about. Yep. And the views. Yep. And absolutely." Views, yeah. Because if you because if you look at his channel, I mean his views. I mean he doesn't have really that great of views. If you look on his other channel, uh, he has nothing. I and mean, I do. he goes live on that channel to nobody. He's sitting there literally talking to himself. Yeah, no and I'll there. admit, I I listen to some of his stuff for like on some of the advocacy stuff. Mm -hmm. It's not because I'm clinging to his words. I like because he does like to read right off the right off the scroll itself so you know what i mean a lot of times when he's doing that i'll listen to that because that's right off it's it's not his words that are being said you know what i mean it's it's actually because you can get those documents from what you know I, like i said my mind is just fucking shot tonight did i turn this down there okay um Per diem is what I'm saying. I think that's the word that he's reading right off in the scroll itself. So, you know what I mean? He's not coming up with bullshit. I'll All listen right. to that because that, to me, I'm hearing what the actual where it's coming from. It's coming right from the horse's mouth, not from somebody materializing different words to how they interpreted it. And that's his biggest problem is, is how he interprets things. And like I said, right. I don't have a really an, I mean, I think it's fucking funny when he does do his little wah wah baby cry shit because he needs attention. Don't get me wrong, I think that's fucking hilarious. But I do listen when he does do the other because, like I said, but when he's just talking, talking about other things, I'm not listening. But if he's reading something per diem up for advocacy, yeah, I'll listen to that because it gives me a chance to listen to what's being said without having to have any kind of interaction about it. Mm -hmm. I haven't listened to him in God fucking year and a half now, two years, something like that. Yeah, like I said, a lot of times I just do it for background noise when I'm working because I work in a fucking big warehouse. And so I just, a lot of times I'll just have it just so I can listen to it because I just like to hear something. You know, it's kind of that white noise going on shit. You know what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, Tommy B, thank you for asking what I'm vaping on. Oh, yeah, well, I'm very, very sorry. Please tell us what you're vaping on there, Miss Jennifer. I just pulled my boxer, my boxer 1300 mod DNA 250C Lipo. That's a, that's a nice boxer. Who did you? Did someone give you that? Send that to you? I'll tell you about it later. All right. I I'll just ask it for a friend. That's no, all. I'm just going to shout out to. Shout out to the person that gave you the boxer. Yes. I'll tell you about it later. But I also got the Dead Rabbit V2 in it. I'm vaping my cheesecake. Oh, that's a very popular setup right there. Dead Hell Rabbit. yeah. Oh, yeah. Didn't you know that's a sought after setup? You know. <laughs> An extremely sought after yes. setup, you know. But red red vapes and advocates just said it. Once people find found out what Jacob Claire Edward Eisen did in the past, most can't get past kid touching, especially with murder involved. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And you know what I mean. But like I said, he's in fucking ten thousand fucking states away from me. I could care less if that man, you know, if he was pushing up fucking flowers. I I could care less. He's not going to change my life whatsoever. Either way. <laughs> You know what I mean? And what happened has happened, and it's a God. He's still going to have to meet his maker eventually. You know what I mean? And I'm a firm believer in that. I'm not a man of God. I do believe there is a higher power. You're still. He's still going to have to meet his maker and answer to that, whether he's, he's forgiven himself and whether he wants to claim that the parents of the other boys have forgiven him. There's still someone else that ha he is still going to have to fucking get to get into where he's got to get. Where he's got to get. No. It's the whole thing that I like to say karma is going to get him. Going to get him Absolutely. Back. Absolutely. Now, Joe, I know uh, you said on the 4th, that's a Wednesday. 
you got the coming up for uh go ahead and talk about it sir um i'm doing a live show we're gonna have uh as many people know him in, in the community discount discount donnie um is gonna be on we're going to be trying to raise funds for to help him get out of vegas and get to ohio so that he can get help with his maybe getting his leg back to where he can actually get out of the power chair stand on it possibly walk um as it sits right now vegas has done everything that they can they have told him that you know he needs to go to a specialist um and cleveland uh, the Cleveland Medical Center was one of the places that they recommended for him to go. So he's been wanting to get out of Vegas and get back to Ohio. So we're going. I'm going to do everything I can to help raise money to to get him there, get him yeah, in, into a place. Um, he's on a list already on, in Ohio for um, to help, kind of like their Section Eight thing, get him into a place. Yeah. Um, it's basically going to be trying to get the funds up to get him and his stuff there to get him, you know, some of the, you know, some stuff that he's going to need right away and to get his medical stuff set up um, to hopefully get him back walking and getting out of that damn chair that he's in. Um, he could go, you know, he could get the, the letter as soon as December. Um, the last time I talked to him a couple of days ago, he had already moved up on the list of 11, 11 places. So um, he's getting real close to when he gets to 30 is when they'll send him the letter and stuff. Um, so we're going to try to raise as much money as we can. I've already got one person uh, committing to doing a good way. Um, I am going to get with him and set up the final things on that. Uh, I'm working, you know, talking with some other places about doing some juice giveaways and stuff like that. Um, but I've been having his GoFundMe on my Facebook page. Um, it has been running in my lives that I do on my shit talking channel. Mm -hmm. um, the live for November 4th will be on my main channel, on my review channel. Um, as I've stated to a couple people that that is where I'm going to be doing the lives that really matter, you know, that like the suicide prevention one I did, um, any of the serious lives is going to be on my main channel. The other one is just there for shit talking and having fun. Um, and who knows, you know, I mean, I've still got over a week and we'll see what comes of it as far as people donating and, and getting in, um, trying to set up some, some different giveaways and stuff to raise the money for him. So that's what November 4th is going to be all about. Um, he will be on. We are going to be doing like a little slideshow of all the surgeries and stuff he's had done. Um, so... I'm hoping that we get good results from it and get the brothers the help he needs because, you know, he's one that has always been there for everybody. So, yep. Uh, yeah, sorry, Dave. I know. Um, damn YouTube with all their commercials. And uh, hello, Cherokee Vapor. If I didn't say hello, Tony, Laura, what is going on, man? Yes, karma will bite back. Absolutely. It always finds a way. That's for sure. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh, that's funny. That, that that's just fucking. Was it about his son? <laughs> <laughs> well, we are up to the hour. Can't believe we actually made the hour tonight. Um. I want to thank each and every one of you guys. Guys, did you want to do some outros? I've done or did mine. We? <laughs> All right. Uh, um, Nemesis Unleashed. You guys can find me on Nemesis Unleashed. I know Green Screen Mafia. 
Thank you, everybody, for all the subs and views. And thank you for coming around. Hell yeah. And Miss Jennifer, thank you for coming on. Like always, it's a pleasure. And I still want to do a DIY night with you. Um, I want to get maybe if we can get Chewy on there. I don't care if he has a camera on or not. He can just come in and shoot the shit with us. We don't even have to mix. I just want to talk some DIY. Maybe get Sin, maybe Deb to come on. And uh, again, like I said, you know, just talk some DIY. I know uh, Nemesis, he does some DIY. Nope. Just Joe, let me know. Joe, yeah, definitely. But like I said, I want to get all you guys together eventually. And we want to do it just a little. We might do it maybe an hour, hour and a half kind of show type of thing where we can all just put our little, you know, what got us into it? What got us? Was it a necessity? Was it something just out of curiosity? Things like that. You know, I'd love to get into it. Just, I, loved, I love people. I love doing that kind of talking and shit anyway. So, and right, gets everybody else have. to know everybody. Absolutely. Will do. Exactly. So, thank you very much. So, with all that being said, everybody, thank each and every one of you guys, and thank each and every one of you guys for all the positive vibes that you all been sending and prayers. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. My wife loves each and every one of you guys. I always tell her, I will show her. To, you know, don't think it just goes by the wayside. Great, Wabowski. Much love to you, man. I hope you're doing well as well. Also, you've been, Dave. Thank you, brother. I do appreciate you so much, man. Lucy will come. Uh, yeah, I would love to get Lumi on. Pippa says, let her know. She'll come on, too. Oh, hell yeah. Pippa is an awesome DIYer. That's for damn sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Deb, I will definitely find out for you. Well, I'll talk to Shane tomorrow anyways because it's his birthday, so I'm going to have to uh, I'm gonna have to have bother him anyways just for because it's his birthday. And uh, I will, if I get, if there is a code, I will send it to you. If there is not a code, I will still let you know, okay? I'll hit you up over on Instagram. So, so with all that being said, go ahead. Take care, Zippy. I love you, baby. And again, make sure y'all go over to DIYflavorchaser.com. And like I said, right now, starting, well, I believe we are on the 30th right now. You can go, uh, Laura, that would be awesome. Zippy can come on too. She's another beautiful, beautiful mixer. Um, DIYvaporchaser.com. Uh, Two one shots, 20 bucks. Awesome liquids from a lot of the big name mixers. Like I said, definitely go check it out. Uh, BSO code Froomey is only, I believe, only on Tuesdays, Great Wabowski. Um, I'm not sure if he's having a special one for his birthday tomorrow or not. Because I have mine for that it's every day for, uh, for over there, which is Tommy V. You get 17% off. That's every day. But I know tomorrow he's got a better one coming out. And only for his birthday, though. So um, with all that being said, everybody, again, let's bounce out of here. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I will there will not be a show tomorrow night, but and there will not be a show next Thursday, but there will be a show next Friday night. And hopefully I'll have uh, some better news than what was been transpiring the last <laughs> couple of weeks here. But hopefully uh, either way. Um, I would try to see everybody in chat when I can, when I'm available. A lot of times I've been relegated to my phone a lot because I don't actually have access to my room upstairs. That's why you've been seeing me in my kitchen. Um, but that'll, that'll all come to pass. So everybody, thank each and every one of you guys. I love you, each and every one of you. So with all that said, let's get a vape. Get the fuck out of here. Remember, educate, advocate, masturbate, ejaculate. Love y'all. Bye. Have a wonderful